Um, what we're doing here is seeing the effect of boom stability on spray deposition and um, we're laying some posts out with water sensitive paper on uh, vertical and horizontal and it'll show us um, how important it is to have a stable boom. What I hope will happen is that we'll get less on the outside here. We've put the bumpy track in and uh, because we get a lot of movement at the outside of the boom it'll either be going slower than the inside or faster and we'll probably be able to see the difference in deposition you have from having an unstable boom and the key is having the boom working like it should be at the right tyre pressure on the machine and um, the linkage and everything fully lubricated up. Very often on the, as on this one here the tyre has been blown onto the rim and so it's uh, very nearly three bars pressure and according to the book we should be down at 1.2 which will have a good effect on the suspension because tyres are both a spring and a shock absorber. We're now down to 1.4 bars and we've got about 10% sag on the tyres which will help a lot with the shock absorption. Have a look to see how the uh, stability or lack of stability of the boom affects deposition and uh, one can see here that the outside of the boom which goes travels faster when it hits a bump has put on about half as much spray as the bit nearer to the sprayer which will be putting on what it should be putting on and if we were looking for grass weed control uh, we'd be very disappointed with the performance of the product um, on the outside and it would have looked like it hadn't worked so well uh, when in fact it's all about boom stability the boom suspension working properly is important for uniform distribution and the two bits are uh, yaw which is swinging sideways and roll and um, to get things working properly it's important that we've got the, uh, any joints lubricated and that the shock absorbers are working. And if we move the boom backwards and forwards, you can see them operating and you can hear the oil moving in the shock absorber. So this is obviously in good condition. To check that the boom's OK and roll, you push the end of the boom down by foot and then let go and it should come up and settle horizontal. And you can see from this sprayer, it's looking good.